I was kind of really debating whether or not I should make a video on this because this reporter has like had mild success of the truth 50% sometimes 50% not but the reason I decided to actually talk about this report is because I genuinely believe in it myself and I don't even believe in me so the fact that I'm believing in this kind of fucking says something right it's currently being reported by Hollyfield M5 that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man will reportedly be returning in Doctor Strange 3. Now, I genuinely believe Doctor Strange 3 is going to be a pretty crazy movie that not many of us are really expecting. Now, I recently made a video. I don't know if it will be out before this one or whenever it's going to be coming out, but I made a video talking about the MCU movie slate that of course got leaked and of course one of the movies that i think date sticks out the most out of all of them is in 2026 november 6 tba right between may 1st avengers doomsday and 2027's may 7th avengers secret wars is definitely one of the most interesting dates for a lot of reasons Again, the biggest reason is it was said by leakers that any movie that does come out between Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars will be taking place in the battle world, which we know will supposedly be forming at the end of Doomsday and will be where Secret Wars takes place. Again, for those of you who don't know what battle worlds is, it is said that, of course, in multiple different kind of versions really a bunch of these universes and worlds kind of collapse together into this one world of course where they call it the battle world and it's multiple different multiversal characters that all come in between each other and again it's in the comics where you get to see a lot of these different characters from other comics really kind of made up with the the characters that you're reading in that version so again the way i obviously expect pretty much for this to happen is I think somehow Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom will probably win in his conquest to kind of merge all these universes together and all of these planets will form into this one massive planet called the Battle World. And what I think really is interesting here, and I said it in the last video, I think that report saying that all the movies that take place in the middle of those two films will be in the Battle World to me suggests that on November 6th, the only movie we will see, apparently, between the two, will be Doctor Strange 3. I genuinely believe the plot of Doctor Strange 3 will pretty much be him trying to do what he did in Spider-Man No Way Home, where he tried to pretty much reverse and change the spell to send all these multiversal people away. I genuinely believe the plot of his movie will be him trying to undo what Doctor Doom did in the last film and again try and put all the universes back to their original state and get rid of this whole battle world thing probably ultimately fail and then it leads on to Avengers Secret Wars we have already seen Doctor Strange have a multiversal movie with his second film I don't think it is too far-fetched for them to kind of take a note out of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and Spider-Man No Way Home and have kind of a combined thing where Doctor Strange is trying to undo all the damage, make all the universes go back to normal and then obviously probably fail, right? I think this could very much mean that in his third movie, which will be on the battle world, I genuinely believe we will see a lot of those characters come back, play small roles, all of this type of stuff in this film. Could we see John Krasinski's, um, obviously Reed Richards from the second movie appear? Again, I know technically he fucking died because the world's smartest man basically teed up the whole plan to wonder about how to kill them. But maybe there's another Reed Richards from a different universe that looks like John Krasinski. I don't know. Maybe, of course, we get the OG fantastic four in this film you know maybe johnny storm returns probably not because he got turned into a blender um in 
you know, fucking Deadpool and Wolverine, if you haven't seen that. Uh, sorry for kind of spoiling it, but it's been out a month. What the fuck are you doing? Go and watch the film. Someone also I heard rumors say that if this project does happen, we would see 2015's Fantastic Four appear. Probably not as well. I'm pretty sure that movie has a negative rating of like negative eight or some shit on Rotten Tomatoes. And I didn't even think that was possible to have a negative rating, but... And then obviously, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, I think will most likely be back. And I think this report does make a lot of sense and I can definitely see Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man having a role in this and obviously having a role in Avengers Secret Wars and maybe the end of Avengers Doomsday, right? I genuinely believe as well, I think Sam Raimi should direct this film. Uh, I think it's very obvious. I actually really like Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. It is probably my second favorite MCU movie after Endgame. Maybe third now that Deadpool and Wolverine is out, but I actually really liked Doctor Strange 2. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I genuinely think they didn't like it because they expected fucking everyone and their dad to be in the movie, which I mean, the title suggests they probably should have been, but obviously it didn't happen. I thought obviously Wanda as Scarlet Witch was a fantastic villain in that film. I really, really loved what I saw. And I think it's obvious that Marvel, I think realized that that movie kind of only got a lot of hate because they released it in a time where every other one of their projects they released sucked. So that one kind of got dragged into it. I think if Sam Raimi was to have another go doing a bunch more multiversal stuff, keeping his horror elements from the last film and teaming up with Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man again, oh my God, that can make a grown man fucking squirt mayonnaise out of his penis because how exciting is that? I think we could get a very awesome movie. Maybe even what Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness was supposed to be. Everyone thought everyone, their dad was going to be in that film. Maybe that's what the third one is going to be called. Or oh, I was like, what if the third one is called Doctor Strange into the Battle World or Doctor Strange Battle World or some shit like that. I don't know. They, I don't get paid to make the titles. They can probably think of a clever, better clever one than me. But what if in this Doctor Strange movie, not only did we get Tobey Maguire returning, but what happens if we got the original Fantastic Four returning? Probably not Johnny Storm. Shout out Chris Evans, unless they say that was a different one. Could Wanda maybe return in this film, setting her appearance in Secret Wars? Eric Banner's Hulk is another one I think we could very well see. Could Henry Cavill's Wolverine have another appearance in this? Wesley Snipes as Blade again. Nicolas Cage's Ghost Rider. There is hundreds and thousands of different multiversal characters we could see in this battle world film and i think the idea of dr strange and wong trying to i think of course gather together to separate all these worlds and universes from each other and potentially teaming up with toby Maguire and all of these characters to do so i think is a fantastic idea that i would love to see who would be the villain of the movie though i really don't know maybe villains from all these characters universes come in like fucking how cool would it be to see somehow Topher grace's venom it'd be funny if he like returned in this maybe other villains from like the blade movies all of these type of stuff maybe they're pissed at just these guys and are trying to fucking attack them or something i really don't know it could be a massive nostalgia fest film but i'm willing to take that risk if we get sam raimi teaming up with again Benedict Cumberbatch again, and of course, Tobey Maguire. Jesus Christ, bro. I'm, that's fucking more attractive than Sydney Sweeney and Tate McRae. Look, probably not. That was probably a bit too far, but you guys get what I mean. Of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest gaming content, like movie content, all that type of stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to my sports channel and my IRL slash vlogging channels. Links for them will be in the description down below. But yeah, as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.